And flying in and out of the Northwoods will soon be a little bit easier on passengers. News 9's Jimmy Sadowski had the chance to catch up with the uh, Oneida County Regional Airports Director and find out how they are spending millions of federal dollars to make your trip more comfortable. A few months ago, if you wanted to get on a plane here at Oneida County Regional, you'd have to walk out on the tarmac. But thanks to a new grant, they're getting some much needed upgrades. Over $3 million is going towards rehab projects at Rhinelander Oneida County Regional Airport. And when it's fully operational the first week of November, it's going to not just make workers' lives easier, but flyers as well. Take the new jet bridge. Before, flyers had to go out on the tarmac and deal with the elements. This one is a straight shot in. The jet bridge is going to be a much better experience. It's got it's fully HVAC. It's going to have a baggage lift. It's going to have an intercom. Um, the old one was essentially just a tube. Currently, the only destination from the airport is St. Paul, Minneapolis with Delta. Before the pandemic, the airport used to offer seasonal flights to Chicago, and Matt said once the pilot shortage gets better, they hope to bring it back. There's a big demand for that market, likewise for Minneapolis-St. Paul. That offers a lot of connections, both nationally and internationally. Summer's the busy season for travel out of the airport, and while it might not seem like a big deal that the runways are being repainted, when the airport is seeing about 2,000 people a week, every little bit helps. Matt tells me the next project will cost nearly $10 million and will rehab parts of the runway and the electrical parts of the airport. In Rhinelander, Jimmy Sadowski, News 9, WAOW. Thank you, Jimmy.